you're looking for something. All right, so with everything that's going on in our lives, sometimes it can be pretty easy just to forget to be kind to others. Yes, it definitely can. Motivational speaker, friend of the show, Paul Long, is here to explain why that is so important <laughs> and uh, why being kind is, is so pivotal. Why, why do you think it is such an, an important thing? Well, first and foremost, I think right now in today's society, I think when you find or see people that are genuinely kind, it sticks out like a sore thumb, right? Sure. And so I know yeah. one thing for a fact, if I'm ever struggling with ego, I know who to talk to. <laughs> I caught the 901 hour. We'll knock you down. That's right. No, I said, you're building me up. I mean, talking about having me on and, and the energy that we share. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's exactly, that's exactly what kindness could potentially do. You could really motivate and inspire somebody to go about a tumultuous time with a more positive attitude. So, before we get to the content, question for you both. Okay. Carrie, Nick. Yep, I'm ready. You believe in luck. Do you believe in luck? Gosh, I don't know if I do or if it's just hard work and what you put into something paying off. Because uh, I've never won the lottery. Mm, so if yeah. I was sure. lucky, I would have won the mega millions. Well, I would say I would say you could sort of make your own luck sometimes okay. if you if you put a little something into it. But then again, I'm also then again I also think, you know what, sometimes Luck happens. That's exactly yeah. right. You know? Well, probably not news to you that I'm not a luck guy. I'm an energy guy. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I specific, specifically subscribe to the mantra that the, the more goodness we throw out, uh -huh. the more goodness comes back. Uh -huh. And so if we're all balls of energy, like thermal energy, mechanical energy, chemical energy, and electrical energy, right? You get energies together and they have the opportunity. They could do one of two things. They could connect, right? Or repel, right? right? So how do, we, how, how do we connect more? I think it boils down to just leading with kindness, showing a genuine interest in others. So I used to work at a call center, first job out of college, and it, I was an underwriter for an insurance company. And agents or customers would call me all day long and they were angry and they were upset and they needed help. And so today's Motivational Monday, right? Yeah. So if it was a Monday, I would answer the phone. Thank you for calling this glorious Monday. <laughs> How can I make your day glorious too? And oftentimes, Nick, folks would laugh. Uh, other times, people would say, well, I'm glad that you're having a good day because I'm certainly not, right? <laughs> oh, no. and, and I loved those customers or agents when I got the opportunity to talk to them because when I hit them with a, you know, Carrie, I'm terribly saddened to hear you're having such a bad day. I take great pride here at Farmers Insurance at lifting people up a little closer to where I am when we get off the call than when we first started. So how could I help bring a smile to your day? Now what typically happened, they hit me with, with what I call that quiver lip where they want to say something <laughs> yeah, but they right. don't know, you know? And then they typically said, it's not you I'm mad at, it's the situation. Uh -huh. So if we really dissect that phenomenon and what happened, I challenged their expectations. They were calling because they had a problem. They were calling because they had a concern. And when I hit them with kindness, they didn't know how to respond. Uh -huh. And yeah. ultimately, they left that call not saying, we love you and we love everything that you stand for, but thank you for taking the yeah. time out of your day to show a genuine interest and lift us up a little closer where we are. Okay, so here's the, here's the question for you. Uh, we all have our stuff going on in our, in, our, in our heads, right? We all have our stuff going on. We have a tough day, mm -hmm. get up early. You know, we, day is not going on and I've got my head down. I'm not looking at anybody. I'm like feeling sorry for myself, I'm just, I'm spiraling and I'm loving it, just being all by myself. Sure. How am I supposed to get out of that and, you know, have a smile and be kind to someone else who's just walking by and I have no idea who they are? Well, you ask a pivotal question. And I think before I answer, I'd like to share with you a, a quote that I recently saw in the show Justified. If you run into a jerk in the morning, you probably just ran into a jerk. But if you run into a jerk all day long, you might be the jerk. So think ah, about that. Okay. So we go about our day and we have these challenging days, right? Yeah. You run into six, seven, eight, nine different people and it's like, gosh, what has gotten into everybody, right? Well, maybe it's you. That's who's exactly the right. Here. Maybe yeah. you're maybe you're manifesting on the outside what you're feeling on the inside. Yeah. And so how do we challenge that? How do we get out of that rut? Well, you hit the nail on the head when you talked about smiling. Sometimes you don't feel like smiling. But when you smile at somebody else, what inevitably happens? They smile they back. They smile back. back. Yeah. We're walking down the road. We're going into the grocery store. You know the most common response when you look at somebody in the eyes? They look down. Mm -hmm. what, what is that driven by? Mm -hmm. A lack of connection, a lack of confidence? Maybe making eye contact, sharing a kind word or some appreciation, holding the door open for somebody can make an impact in that particular individual's day.
Mm. Paul, I feel like we could keep talking to you, but we always run out of time. Uh, so where can people find you? Information. So, uh, website is www. Do we still say www? We That's sure something. do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Paul J. Long. <laughs> PaulJLong.com. You could learn all about me and the concept of fundamentalism defined as the fundamentals of a fun and optimistic lifestyle. Nice. Try it sometime. I know people out there have, have done this before, and I recently experienced it, and it is a great feeling what you get back of what you put out, yes. you know, it works. It you really guys does. are living proof. So, great to see you, Paul.